So in my three and four stew arts folio, I start off with a color key to identify my annotations to be easier to the marker and to identify the key terminology that would assist my mark. So when beginning my folio, we started off with an exploration proposal of what we would be exploring and how we would explore it. So I started off with a general idea, which was the freedom of movement and the freedom of style and the freedom of expression within skateboarding. And then I went on to talk about the conceptual possibilities of what the concepts I would work on. And then I went into more detail down below on the focus and subject matter of subject matter being what I will actually portray and the focus is what I and what on I will portray. Moving on, we're going to materials, techniques and art forms. These are just what I would be using within my folio to present my work in terms of materials and techniques, art forms. Then I went to my aesthetic qualities, how I wanted my works to look, and the emotions and feelings I want to communicate to the viewer. And next went on to my inspirations. First being Andy Anderson, um, a Canadian skateboarder who has a very unique style. And next one was Raphael Zaka, who is a um, sculptural artist who um, measures the extent of which skateboarding influences perception of materials and works in different forms in different spaces to portray the freedom of skateboarding. And next went on to Jean-Michel Basquiat to use how he uses his neo-expressionist art style to create a unique style of his work. I then went on to discuss the potential what might potential directions um, to um, for my work and how they would reflect my theme and my ideas. I next went on to a work plan with Ms. McGregor to outline in detail how my folio would be assembled and how I revise for SACS and the exam and handing in my folio. Here is a mind map that I made just overall on my folio detailing in personal inspirations, artistic inspiration, keywords and the aesthetic qualities. And I also wanted to pick the subject matter of what I would want to pick. Here I just went into further detail about my artistic inspiration. Going on similar with Basque Art, with Zaka, with the Osaka Daggers. Here I went into personal inspiration with um, the things that personally influence me into making my work. I'm an artist, so a local skate shop, a bar skate store, my personal style of skateboarding in skate parks. And then I went into researching into the conceptual possibilities mentioned in my exploration proposal. So the bends and curves of the skate park, form and movement. Similarly, over here, I went through how um, the, conce um, the con concept of exploring, how, pe how skateboarders are outcasted and how they are um, rejected by society because of their interest in skateboarding. Next went on just with more research into my third conceptual possibility of using a ramp and whatnot and using skate parts. So next I went on to explore how I would how my work would be used and how I would portray it. So for my first um, trial when I explored how I would use um, different um, materials, techniques and art forms to portray an idea. I went with a type of lifestyle photography 
with splitting into two sections of being one a very raw to capture the raw aesthetic of the skateboarder and then a very planned, very detailed shot deciding on the clothing that they were wearing, the angle and whatnot. As you can see here, colour coding, referring back to my original colour key to identify the key terminology in my work. Moving on for trial one, I went through a varietal list of the, what I would be using for my artwork. I took a large variety of photos and um, in different places, some in Elstonwick Skate Park, and then some at the State Library in um, the city. The next one I'm to working on serious photography, using serious photography to portray the movement of the skateboarder. And then I went on to encompass the idea of skateboarders versus society using chicken wire and just wire overall to kind of present skateboarders into that hard kind of cold idea that they were um, that society makes them out to be so here it would just be kind of like a skateboarder into that outside they're meshed out from society similar idea here again with this idea discussing ideas on how to present it. Moving on to trial three, I worked with a lot of shapes and a lot of the surfaces that skateboarders ride in. So first I created a lot of shapes based off that the um, the styles that the surfaces that skateboarders ride on. And then I researched into what surfaces skateboarders ride on. I mean, I knew because I'm a skateboarder, what I'd be running on, but just for clarity, I put this in. And then I used the uh, French curves to create the stencil tool, just showing my working out methodology. And then I placed the stencil into a variety of material um, surfaces and created them. And then went on, inspired by Basque Art who in his early days was a graffiti artist using aerosol paint and markers to work on using that stencil to spray paint around an image to create a kind of abstract look. And then went on to add colour, just like in Basque Art's work where he uses colour to represent emotions. And then the stencil kind of got added colour with the light, lighter hints. And then I went on to use my work to articulate um, again this use of colour on top of the obstacle. The next one on to depicting my ideas through a doodle. So as you can see here, I first took an image of a scale obstacle, edited out the background, and then added on top a figure. The figure is representative of how the skateboarder would have been feeling at that time. It's a little hard to see, but the figure is representative of a chicken there. As this ramp, my personal experience is quite high, it's about solid five meters or so high. It is quite large and it is very intimidating and daunting to look at at first. And then, similarly, here, um, how the skateboarder would be feeling as they as slide along and the rigidness and hardness of the skateboarder as they balance on two wheels getting across the box. And then here is just the image bank of the images from my art that I decided to use. I have many more, but I ultimately decided using. And then went on in my fifth trial to explore the use of um, found objects to create my sculpture. In trial six, I went on to explore the use of like um, using color and an abstract depiction of the movement of the skateboarder and the um, emotions that the skateboarder would be feeling. These two artworks were made after I broke my arm after taking the photographs at um, the state library, and in that moment. All I saw was triple of everything, thus inspiring the triple of kind of every shape here. And then 
I involve textures and here so involve the texture of brick and then I create a bird's eye view of the stairs and then here I put a rail a rail is a obstacle that was used to write on and then for trial 7 I went on to use a stencil again but to outline the rejection and ostracization of a skateboarder from society and the skateboarder versus society thing I use as black to identify the scooter kid and then I use white to identify me and vice versa to show from each side how the how the battle can be seen from two sides and one side society sees skateboarders as the bad people and and treats them their freedom but it is also vice versa for skateboarders for my eighth trial I went for a 3D interpretation going first from a paper sculpture to a wooden sculpture out of balsa wood and glue to an abstract sculpture out of just plain wood so at first I designed the schematics for the artwork then I went on to create each individual bit out of paper creating a roll-in creating a stair sink, creating a box then I went on to recreate this out of wood recreating the original idea and finished making it out of wood or box wood and then went on to create an abstract interpretation of how I would use it. So I cut out the shape of a quarter pipe and saw in relationship how they worked, the shapes and the curves worked with one another. This was translated into trialing along with a single piece, adding a secondary piece, and then adding a third piece to create a very unique shape. Sculptures are made out of the pieces of a quarter pipe thus reflecting skateboarding. I then went on to take inspiration from Vans, a brand that's very core to skateboarding, to add a bit of a texture to my artwork, taking their unique, well, not unique or trademark, checkerboard pan and adding it onto the work. So next I went into my potential directions. You want my hideous face. And I went on to working with my first trial and making that into a potential artwork. So I further developed on the outfit, first creating a fashion sketch here on what the shoes would look like, what the pants would be worn, the undershirt, the shirt and the hat. And then that was translated into me wearing a Nautica hat, a Volve tee, one of my personal inspirations, a found black overshirt, black shorts, and then a um, pair of black and white Nike shoes. And these are all detailed here in this photo of what I would be using. And then went on to, to develop on the idea of the camera angle, so how the angle would be leveled, and then moving on to combining this with my serious photography trial on how I would depict the movement and how I would build upon that idea of a series. And then here is just a um, evaluation on how the artwork went. So potential direction two, I started off with an isometric plan, creating how the sculpture would look because I wanted to progress it to be on a much larger scale and I wanted it to be um, to emphasize my ideas better so I first identified what wood I would need how I would cut it to create the curve I wanted how the wood would be secured and then the schematics for the box in measurements and everything so as we can see um, first we created a overall shot representing the materials and tools that we used and then when I cut it all out, cutting down the sides using a jigsaw, circular saw and um, hand saw. I then went on with the help of um, 
the other person to hold the pieces together while I screw them together. Create a box. And then I went down on to complete um, to flush to make the edges flush and screw in the centerpiece. I next went on to cut the um, quarter pipe pieces, the 90 degree curve pieces out. At first it was a bit harder to find the proper curve that I wanted, so through much trial and error, as seen here, I cut out, I drew a lot of, and then using 7mm thick slits, which are the 7mm that, um, how thick the wood is, I created, I created my first two pieces. Afterwards, with the 7 meter hole for the pieces to sit into, there were some lean in how the um, quarter pipe piece is stood. So first, I went with my original idea of having two pieces to sandwich it to create kind of a barrier to stop from tipping over, and that made it flush and straight, holding them tightly together and making the piece straight. And that resulted in my final final artwork of, um, well not my final final artwork, the end of my potential direction, with a proper large scale sculpture, wooden sculpture. And then again, potential, potential direction evaluation. Here I went on to progressing my idea of found objects and sculpture, incorporating this time a lot more colour in the use to represent my ideas represent um, the aesthetics that I want to communicate in my artwork. Again, just direction evaluation. Here I went on progressing my spray painting at, um, trial. First creating a colour palette of what my art, of how the colours would work in relation to one another. In terms of a colour swatch. And then I went on to create a stencil and sprayed it on to create the mid-tone section, the grey, representing the area that the skateboard is in society's share and then to present society's view of how skateboarders are the bad ones and they are the good people and they are invading on their territory and space. Again, another evaluation. So at that point, everything was unit three. So exploring and developing. Here we go on to in unit four to refining and presenting my artworks. So to decide the configuration for my work for my artwork, I need to refine upon it to make it accurate accurately depict the environment of the skate park. So using my smaller scale sculptures. I created a large variety of sculptures of how they would, well, excuse I created a large scale, well not large, a small scale amount of how and, and decided on which one, ultimately ending on choosing this one because of its hard edges, clean cut curves and unique, unique looking shape. I went on to erase all the pencil lines, the working lines from when I was cutting out the pieces and smoothing down the surfaces, similarly with quarter pipe pieces and then went on to the box, making it flusher and more square and with the same technique as before. Um, I then went on for deciding ultimately the art that my first Sorry, my second trial was going to be my final artwork and went into how I present it and to create it as a focal point of the room and to create it as for not distraction. I took inspiration from Zaka who presents his artworks in a clean and simple environment space where my artwork would be placed in a completely black room with the only light shining onto it to create it as the centerpiece and to not distract from it within the room. And then went on to refine the individual pieces that I would be used for my found sculpture using a 
found metal sheet, some cones that I found, rubbish bins, and more so working directly on the top part and the colour that was there, and then using some marine plywood. Um, using some marine plywood to create a more structurally integral piece to the centre of the artwork. And then when I refined it to give it more of the found look, even though the marine hardwood was purchased, I scratched it up and skated it with my skateboard to create it and finish it. In presenting artwork too, I decided to go to the tannery, a DIY skate park in Preston before the COVID laws were in place and photographed it for its unique environment and very DIY aesthetic to work harmoniously with my artwork. And then this is just a sketch and a betrayal of how the artwork would be placed as a drawing into the setting of the space. And then went on to do an evaluation of my two finished artworks, an evaluation of how they reflected my subject matter, my materials, how they present in the aesthetics, and how they can effectively communicate the idea. And similarly for artwork two, we want to also go on and talk about how they cohesively work together and how the artworks created a full showcase on how they worked and how they did.